Hello lovelies, it's Risley. Today we're playing Super Auto Pets. Let's give it a go. Alrighty, right off the bat, we've got a lot of orange on orange. That would make you think, you know, maybe you should use those filled dragons. They match the background, they match the color of this bee. You throw a bee on the ladybug, it gets benefits. The frilled dragon gets no benefits, because that doesn't actually count as a faint trigger. And you know what? Part of me would want to agree with you, but in, in real concept, I feel like that's not actually the hottest concept. I do like the idea of a bee, though, such that I might actually give up the addition of one extra unit just to run it. And I do think that, technically speaking, the moth is the best one to throw up here, just because it's the most likely to guarantee a win for us. However, a fish in the long run, you know, pure stat gain. I love a pure stat gain ability, so I think we're going to have to go with that for now. Now that raises the question, though. Do we run Ladybug in front because it's got the best stats, or in back because it's got a honeybee? Well, the fact that there are moths in the game does make me a little afraid of, like, one-hit KOs in the front. So we're gonna run two squatted, and we're gonna run, um, little Ladybug in the back. I think he's gonna do just fine. We're gonna be some famous posers. Very famous for not being very good at being famous. Classic. You know, we'll get there one day. Okay, now they've got a Bilby Fruit Dragon. Just because they got two otters. Alright, well... I don't know if it's physically possible to beat an early game otter squad, so we're just gonna have to ignore that and hope it doesn't come back to bite us. An egg. Give one pet the egg pet. Deal two damage before attacking once. <laughs> it's just a level one stake. It's just like the babiest amount of damage you can stick in there. I mean, I can see how that might be nice. It's kind of like a, a meat, but not as good. But also it goes before you attack, so you don't have to take damage when you use it. So I can see actually in the early game how this can get you one free kill right off the bat. So, do we fill up our squad with one more bird? Or do we run the egg? Well, honestly, I'm thinking that if this is going to get us one extra kill, having this blue bird with two attack is also going to give us one extra kill, so... Probably not very optimal to run the egg if the, if, like, the concept there is not to have an entire squad. But now we're getting super attack power from our infinite birds. Will I know? You know, I haven't even checked. Do we have a bison? Does these birds leveling up on specifically round 5 mean anything to us? Oof, that ladybug was very buff. Uh, I was very thankful to our bee, because it was the only thing that saved us there, except we still lost. Tragedy, it, it follows you everywhere, you know? We gained a heart back, which is sweet, because I guess we've missed two. These are some new units. Door head ants. Empty front space if in battle. Push it to the front and gain four health. You know what? I think I'm pretty personal, honestly, to like all of the ants. I like the basic ant. I like the ant that gives his attack to people. This one sounds pretty radical, too. Um, so I think I will go with that. And a lizard hurts. Summon one, three, one lizard tail. It's interesting to think that this thing's lizard tail is able to do damage as well, rather than like summoning a smaller lizard or something. We will combine these birds just to get this ant out here, because why not have super attack? And you know what? This fish is not done enough. We're going to run the lizard, purely because I would like to see it be run. Double antage all the way across the sky? Well, you shouldn't have another lizard. It's interesting, because I, I know the concept of the lizard is probably, it's like, it's a summon build thing, right? You can... Man, the idea of having, like, a, a turkey later in the game and using its ability to boost just detached lizard tails seems like a very strange concept for that working out, but if you can get it, I think that would work. Definitely not the best of all the summoners, but it is a pretty low tier, so I guess you couldn't really expect much from that. And a draw? Well, that's an improvement from the two previous uh, losses, so I'd say we're on our road, you know? We're on our way up and moving. Now, I would like to make some space, which means I can either level up the doorhead ant or the bluebird, and I feel like we might as well do the bluebird just because a rabbit. Just because at least it's giving, like, you know, two stat, that's still pretty good. Its ability isn't going away too hard. Do we actually have enough foods that aren't just utility, but are actual stats? Because that's what the rabbit really wants to feed on. Fried shrimp. Avocado, kind of. I mean, that's, like, technically reusable. Accurate to buy ability. A banana. Give one pet to banana perk. Summon a 4-4 monkey on faint. That's pretty cool. I could see having uh, bananas on the pack at the same time as like a, uh, a pill. Could allow you to like automatically make yourself like a high level scaling unit. I could see how this one included, especially with the pill, exactly, you know, like it could uh, cause some craziness. But we don't really have a whole lot of food that just gives stats, so I don't think of, um, a rabbit's the way to go. I've not seen these two. Come back one one. Okay, the mushroom just got a new sticker and the tomato. 
Give one pet the tomato perk. Deal eight damage to the last enemy before attacking once. Okay, so that's just a really complicated stake, but it's very high level. So I am say we are going to skip on the rabbit for right now. And I guess we're just going to run two ants. And I think that he probably doesn't get the plus four unless he was up here immediately. Which means we should switch it out for a different unit. Any unit can do. And we can do the egg if we would like. This actually seems like it would probably work pretty well with the door ants, so... Let's see which one of these ants actually gets to go up first. I was gonna say the one that's just further up in line. It didn't have as much attack as the other one originally. It has been given more attack though, so I guess uh, we'll never get to see. Ah, woodpecker. Not my ant. <laughs> Not my one and favorite ant. Bro. Okay, I don't think we would've been able to kill that ladybug like, anyhow, but the disrespect. Using its own egg against me when I had an egg. You think that more people than just I can use an egg? That's not very fair, is it? I need that ability. An orangutan. I do think that orangutan is pretty strong in the early game, if only because health is a real gem. Ladybug, you are outdated. We saw no other ladybugs and you weren't doing much. Does the orangutan want a baboon friend? Give one random friend from the current shop tier plus one plus two. That seems like a very, uh... An extremely limiting ability. I wouldn't say that it sounds the coolest. I do appreciate a woodpecker. And I gotta say, raccoons, I feel like I'm not very good at making them work out in the long term. But I do love them, such that this raccoon getting the ability of the orangutan is actually something I am for. And just for the sake of not wasting any gold, we will buy something. What's better, an egg permanently or just next turn having more chance to find things? I guess we'll just come back with that. I realize the main purpose of the avocado is to like help with strategies that involve animals that get benefits from having extra gold each turn, which we're not doing, but rather than just rolling three times, I feel like this is probably an okay usage of, of gold. At least for the chance of actually being able to use it in something. Man, if that had been able to kill that ant in that one hit, that would have been crazy. It would have been crazy and it would have been unnecessary. It would have been overkill because we jammed it out. Our first win, wow. So far, and we're not even doing all that bad. Alright, that's the one idea with the raccoon, is you're like, it's gonna steal food, it doesn't need its own food. And I'm like, well, actually, it kinda does need its own food, because in the early game, it, on it very rarely does it actually steal food. I wonder, with this before attack trigger, right? If the unit in front of it has an egg, I wonder if it's gonna steal the egg, or if the egg will trigger first. Because they're both attacking. Maybe it's just based off attack? I guess I'm not actually sure. It would be nice if they just prioritized whoever was actually playing, like the live person, you know? I do love an otter. How is the orangutan been working out for us? Has he been working out at all? I haven't really been watching him too hard. Um, this is stats, and this is damage. We're gonna skip the sniper, even though the sniper is amazing. The real question is, what is the point of this ant? Are there synergies related to this thing moving up front? I guess it's specifically for units that do better, like a muskox and like things that like thing die in front of you, you get better. But at that point, you might as well just have it in the back, because then like what? You're just gonna put the ant. Because there's no reason to have ant storing in the back. It's always gonna be first in line, which means if you have a unit that's gonna benefit from someone being directly in front of it, it's gonna have to be really far in front for the ant to make a difference on it. So it just kind of seems like it doesn't matter in the long run. We're gonna keep going with the bluebird just because I think he's a cutie. Oh, another one? You shouldn't have. And by that I mean you really shouldn't have. I probably should not be committing so hard to this bro. You should be higher up. You have to be there because I don't want you hurting my own guys. We could invest in the future or we could buy one egg. You know, in terms of like how much these cost, it used to be avocados, so expensive, most expensive thing. People used to think you were really like bougie and fancy for eating avocados common. Nowadays, it's eggs. $20, $40, a single egg. That's what you gotta put out here in this economy, you know? Real messed up, there's some sort of like illness with the chickens. Man, oh man, don't it suck to be a chicken. You provide things and still, you work so hard, you know, you work so hard pumping out the eggs so we can just eat them eggs. And still we be killing them for them own meat as well. Ooh, level 3 birdie. Don't mind if I do. A turkey. Hmm. I was talking about you just recently, turkey. Sadly, the unit I was referring to helping you out is not real and also is gone. Now, a garlic, I do respect. I think it's better than your eggs. We will place it there. 
And for this singular turn, there is a decent chance the orangutan is going to be helping itself, so I could switch it out for a cooler unit. You know, it's round eight. Is it too late to run a hippo? I mean, I guess if you're replacing a unit, that's like nothing in comparison to it. But what's nothing? The orangutan? My raccoon? Are you telling me to replace my raccoon with a hippo? I would definitely think that's probably a good idea, but I don't want to do it, so I'm not gonna do it. I would like to request that you please give your benefit to the hippo. Okay, well, that's not what I said. I would like you to rethink your uh, your ears. I don't know if you need to get them checked. You got like really small ear holes or something. I bet that really hurts on airplanes, you know? People with small ear holes have extreme pain on airplanes with the elevation changes. Complicated issue, very sad. Something you're born with and you can't help. Bro, oh, you don't even need to steal any food. Look at that raccoon. He said, ability, who needs it? It's just me, my piece of meat, and the entire world, you know? Okay, so we're getting closer to this ant leveling up again, which is just, I mean, that's a lot of health to put on it. So much health, in fact, that I think I actually might commit to you getting that. I do not respect the onion, and we have no buy abilities, so I guess we're going to pep you up a little bit. And I, the hippo's not even that cool. Hippo in the back, hippo in the middle. Weird place for a hippo, I will admit. Not normally where you might think one to go, but... Honestly, this woodpecker is like the most odd one out part of this whole team. That won't kill us, will it? No, it won't. So we get our meat. Okay, you get to be up there. Oh, why did he throw himself back to the onion? The double use. All right, I have learned something today. The ant should get an onion, in which case they get, what, eight health twice? Stunning, stunning revelations here. You can level because you were close and because I love you. I like tiger. Would I replace any of these units with a tiger? The hard part is that I don't think my hippo has enough stats at this point in the game to go anywhere, so it's useless. So I don't want to put a tiger behind you. I don't really want the woodpecker. I also think he's a bit late in the game. But you know what? We live on the edge, my dudes. I like a monkey. I would prefer an onion, because uh, while I was just literally just disrespecting the concept of the onion, I've got this uh, really strong ant that I would really love to try that out real quick. Okay, what's better, a tiger with a woodpecker or one leopard? Well, the leopard killed one of my entire units, so I would say that he might have won that battle. Oof, 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 okay. Uh, am I bitter, you may ask? Am I bitter about this uh, case scenario? I would have to say, maybe a little, but we're not going to talk about it. Eight damage to the last enemy once before attack. Such a complicated concept you've got going there. 50%. So this would do five damage to one unit twice. Ten damage. This would do two damage to do four twice is eight. A leopard is by default better than you, although it is more random what unit it hits. Or I could summon a double bus. What do you do again? Give the current and future pets plus one, plus one health. The chicken used to be great, right? There was a period where nobody respected it, and then suddenly everyone respected it. It was amazing, but it was hard to kick off, and then they, like, nerfed it a little bit, and now no one uses it. But I do feel like because the game is, like, longer now, you know? It takes a lot more turns for anyone to live or die. You might have more time to get the chicken, like, kicking off, you know? Okay, but now that this is happening... Somebody else has to go in front, which I guess is you. Yeah, that's logical, you know, he'll get rid of the front thing. You die, ant in front. Man. Concept. Ant moves in front, tiger is here. So the raccoon, if it lives long enough, can use its ability twice. Then the door ant moves in front. Does the tiger trigger the door ant's ability twice? In the name of science, I will keep the tiger there for one momento. You can have this, because I just think having another unit is always vaguely helpful, at least. Garlic is always useful as well. I will replace your meat with it, if only to test out how effective this is. Like, I don't think- I don't think the raccoon's gonna need to use its ability twice. In fact, now that I think about it, my brain was saying the tiger would let it use it an extra time, like if it leveled up, but now I'm thinking, no, using it twice is going to be literally nothing. You can't- No, my ant! <laughs> How dare you! My science! 
My science was poorly thought out from the beginning, and then you're just gonna go and crash the half of it that I actually was curious to see? Oh, that bus almost actually made it! There was a series, a series of unfortunate events at the back there. Alright, well... <laughs> okay, the name of science was not up for living today. We will try one more round to see if we can't get something actually successful out of that. Give me something amazing. Pirate hats and a green pasture. Oh, it's beautiful here in uh, New Hampshire. I do love the otter. We will be running you. The moth is cool. And I do want this to buff the moth, because the moth is definitely a more stay around than a chinchilla. And then you've got that question, that age-old question, which started just uh, about 15 minutes ago. Which is better, the chinchilla or the egg? I'm gonna say the egg for right now. So you kill the guy who was beefed by the enemy moth, and then you kill whatever's next to that, and then the otter does nothing. Seems like a pretty good strat if I've ever heard one. Shiny turtles, extra sausages, or talkative fellas? We can be some shiny turtles. You know, we are well waxed. We are well cared for. We go to the salon almost daily. Seems a bit excessive to you, I'm sure. Alright, well that definitely ended up uh, exactly how I thought it might have. Sadly, Otter is not uh, strong enough to win exactly. A cockroach was a moth, though. That has some potential. So does a fish, even though we totally spun past his brother, because I didn't really care about him until I thought that we needed it. Okay, they're running baby squad. Ooh, super baby squad. The panda. The otter. And the death. Trio of sadness. We win and we lose. Everything is perfectly balanced, as it should be. And we get the life back. Oh, we never lost? We lost, you said? Says who? Not me. You never saw nothing. You tell anyone you disappear, all right? Say nothing to no one. I do like the swan. But it, you know what I like more? You guessed it. Stats. Oh, uh, well, I could have could have gone in the other mouth. I mean, it's just not the coolest guy. You know, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have chosen it myself. What am I going to get rid of to put this swan on the team next turn? I don't know. <laughs> Why are you going to be asking me all these hard questions? You, you think I just you think I look at stuff and I think to myself, mm, logically this is how it would go? I can see how you might think that because I am obviously a very intellectual person. Sometimes it's not how it is though. Man, that was a strong tail! Three attack tail, come on. Oof, these units. I don't know if there's just some synergies that I ain't getting, but they're not coming to me very easy. Okay, double moth, right? Swamp. From the current- give one from the current tier. Tier two. This would give our swan one, two. We will roll once, see if we get an otter. We didn't get an otter. Okay. Alrighty, then you've convinced me. I do love the door ant. But we ran it next last turn, so we're not going to do it this turn. Hopefully that does not bite us on the butt. I could definitely see how the door ant plus a moth could actually be pretty cool. And in saying that, I realize that makes no gosh darn sense. How could a moth possibly affect a door ant unless I'm not using the door ant's ability? Boom! <laughs> oh, look how helpful that egg was. See? The power of an egg. It did exactly the same amount of damage as it would have done. Bro, the stats. Come on, math. Come on, math. I know you can do better than that. You can you can pull this out for us in some sort of a way. A turtle! Mmm, aren't you a cutie? Do we even have any stage threes? We don't, so you're useless. Goodbye. Goodbye, dear friend. You weren't a very good friend, and I didn't respect you anyway. Now... You can have almost super gold, and a level, a worm. That's the real tragedy, you know? The worm is hard, it's hard to get there, you know? It's hard to charge it up. I don't think the worm is technically speaking a super good unit, and it's very rarely chosen as like your run defining tier four. Which is sad, because I like it. I like the concept. I like the idea of just buying food every round and getting a super unit. But the, they keep adding more and more food to the game that isn't just stacking, it's just switching out tools. Which is, it's just ruining the usefulness of the worm, I feel like. You know, it's so ineffective. It, it's making him worse, and he already wasn't even that great. It's a real sadness and a pity. You can have an egg. Beautiful egg. We can sell the fish. In fact, I will sell the fish, just to get this one point of otter. We'll keep the woodpecker. The woodpecker is respectable. I am not keeping this cockroach. You can't make me. So we're not even going to look at buying that. I will think about this. 
I'll level to spawn, you say. Hmm. Two gold in the future or stats now? I will take gold in the future. Luckily, it happened to give us a unit that I already had and will be taking. Otherwise, it might have been a bit of a waste. Because if I had saved to level the next turn, then I could have gotten the next tier unit and kicked us off even faster. But I don't like waiting, so I didn't do that. Ha! <laughs> egg power! Power of the egg! You're rolling, my dude. I have two eggs. You can't beat double scramble. The double easy over. More swan. Well, if you insist. Alright, I feel like we're using so much of our team all the time so quickly. Okay, you can leave. You're good, but I don't respect you. I love a garlic. We will keep that momentarily. A deer? A female deer? A doe, you could say? You can't even tell. It's wearing this little hat. Could be a deer, could be a doe. You're adorable, so we will accept. You may have garlic. And what is the best way to set up the squad? Maybe not what we're doing right now. I mean, our moth is basic. Our moth on the deer is fine. It's just making a glass cannon out of the deer, which is more than it was doing otherwise. Please don't have an egg on your first unit. Oh, thank goodness. I'm also very glad that first unit does not have a uh, an ability that triggers when it gets hit because it's going to get hit a lot. He is quite beefy. Can we kill the rest of the squad? You know what? I don't know if the egg was making any difference there, but it sure felt good. I feel like these these eggs are they're doing something all right. Now we could get some stats. I'm still looking to replace this cockroach. We still don't need it. I really do. I don't respect the animals that just die on command. You know, like self death. I, I don't appreciate it, so I don't really want to take it. Double orangutan. That would just boost our deer, and I do not think our deer needs that right now. Neither do any of these guys. I guess we're putting a croissant on this deer. Don't know how much he's going to be utilizing that, how much that's going to matter. I would say not at all, but you get what you get. Rocket be rocket, deer be deer. We've got a lot of stats on that squad, and that's going to win. That's going to be the beefiest ant you've ever seen. Can my turtle order? My, uh, my melon armor, you could say. Do the job. It can. It can. You know, that ant, the door ant, okay, the door ant's definitely really strong, and just like the other ants, it's one that starts at the beginning, and I feel like you can keep it for a pretty long time. Do I finally want to get rid of the cockroach for these units? The answer is no, sadly. Can I get rid of it for a lionfish? I would do that. Thank you for asking. Some people would just pass it by. Now, this is a great chance for a carrot. You can have a carrot. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to level you in the future. Somebody else could have a carrot. I guess we could give the deer a carrot since it's doing- Oh, a crocodile, though? Yes to this. We just gave you a carrot. Oh, the moth? The moth for the crocodile? Is this a good trade? Maybe. Is it a fun trade and I really like sniping? Definitely. Gonna go with that. Alright. We've got two green members. We have the element of surprise. They'll never see the turtle with the crocodile coming. And we're still getting to use both of our turtles. Isn't that beautiful? No! I just said we're still getting to use both of them, you dingle. If you summon a bus, I... I hate. I hate. I experience hate. It's, it's a natural part of being a human. We move on. We move on. We don't channel it. Ooh, level two. Soon, soon, they say. The gods look favorably upon this concept. You may exist. You can save yourself for a second. So many levels. Okay. The turtle will wait till next turn. We are doing double lionfish, a tiger. Very interesting. We could double a crocodile at the cost of either a half-cost deer or my swan. The swan doesn't even have all that much stats, so it's like totally valid to want to get rid of it, but I love spawn. Swan is who I love. Okay, maybe if we can level up the deer next turn. If one of the two units that we've left open in the shop, we're really limiting our possibility on here. If either of them happen to be a deer, or I guess a chocolate, then we could put our tiger behind there. A hippo in the front. Oh, a hippo in the front. Oh, the weakness, my guy. Oh. Um, Okay, okay, did the egg save us there? I think the egg might have actually just gotten us the kill on them. You cannot defeat me. For I am the Melon Lord. Lord of all melons. 
Even the melon of victory. Tier 6. Alright, these are not a second deer. Do you know what they could be? They could be a pretty strong ostrich. Is it time to give up money for ostrich? I think it is. You, you know, I, I just... This does feel like the way. Freeze everyone. Roll and hope to get more. We did. Alright, ostrich. You are the savior of the universe. Everything comes down to you being amazing. I would like to put a tomato on the deer. I feel like it'd be cool. We will save our high levels. And we will max out the amount we save per shop to three. Because I do want some space available to get new things. We have two lives. So this is, the, this is the most major pivot you've ever seen in your entire life. Can we defeat the beefiest rooster you've ever seen? Oh? Uh, oh? Uh? We can, but can we defeat its babies? One egg would have done a full job there. Oof. My dude, I feel like I feel like my fish, you know? This fish is really coming in. This fish is coming in strong and it's doing it well. You guys can both stay. Uh, you guys can all stay. I guess we're getting food. Oh, I just bought this. Here's the problem, right? I love deer, deer with Mushroom Classic Double Bus for free. Amazing. But then it can't be up front because then there's no room for Double Bus. But I also don't want the turtle to get its ability on there. Which means I would have to go Double Bus in the back? That's not that bad. That doesn't seem, that doesn't seem that bad. We'll move you back one as well. Chocolate. And unfreeze all of this. We will start fresh on the next turn. Is this gonna bite us in the butt? Was front bus as useful as I feel like it was? We still have two health, so we're not doing horrendous. The small felons? Ah! 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 Small fellas, come on now. No, my bus! <laughs> my turtle turned my bus into a 5 5 useless. Oh, okay. That was a lot closer. Admit it, that was closer than you thought. You thought we were doomed, and we were a lot- We weren't quite. We were not quite doomed. Double bus? We will wait a second, actually. You come with me. You come with me. So I can level him and get more stats, or I can do bus. Well, that actually also helps out the ostrich. Alright, ostrich. I will say, you've not been as cool as I was hoping you'd been so far. Hopefully our back bus does not get sniped. Maybe that is a negative to having him in the back. But we can't move him any closer to the turtle because then he's going to get a melon arbor. He has to be there. We just have to hope he doesn't get killed. Oh, uh, can we break through this dude? Oh my gosh. Double weakness is so great. We got it, my dude. Lionfish for the win. Lionfish is god. He is all powerful. We got one last life. Now, this egg... Why do we still have this egg? Great question. Boom. Tomato. Alright, we've got max level. Give me a chocolate. Give me a chocolate. Um, I don't know. Wait, I guess we don't want this, so we might as well keep rolling. Okay, chocolate for next round. Chocolate for next round. You suck and I hate you. Please, Lord Lionfish. We need but two singular wins. I do not think this is much to ask. It's only... What, like, 20% of our end result? Don't- you have a tomato. I swear to god, stop killing my bus. You know how much money it took for me to be able to get two buses? It took an entire team rework and three gold. Three gold, it doesn't go that far, you know, anymore. It does not go that far. You can only buy one egg with three gold. That is how little three gold can get you in the modern age. Tools are useless because we have a turtle. We could do that, but I don't really care. And I forgot to save the fives. Nobody questioned me. We're rolling for highs. If I hadn't rolled past one, we probably would have been able to go better. We can't level up the crocodile this turn, so we will not commit to doing that. Oh, booyah. I will accept this, though. Thank you. Rolling for chocolate. Thank you. So next turn, we will have max crocodile. Unless we win this turn. Come on now. Who needs a max crocodile when you have super ostrich plus beautiful lionfish? We have the majestic nature. I think we can actually pull this one out. They have halos on. Stop 
killing as my boss. My boss is the whole concept, my dude. You think throwing his ant in here? You throw on the ant in there against my ostrich allowed me to kill all your units, so. And you thought it wasn't possible. And you thought, wow, she's past her prime. She can't win anymore. There we go, you know? What's your opinion? What do you think of this squad? Do you think it's good? Do you respect the lionfish? How respectable is the lionfish? Is it in the top tier? If you had to tier it from, like, C to S, would you put lionfish in S? Because I think it, it stands a chance, you know? And honest opinions, honest opinions of the squad. Alright, well, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!